Hello everyone, welcome. Today, we are going to talk about life cycle thinking. In this video, we will guide you through some concepts of life cycle thinking and its components. First and foremost, we will learn about the concept of life cycle thinking. Then, we will focus on the principles of life cycle management and life cycle sustainability. Finally, we will learn about the benefits of life cycle management and the example of it. So everyone, please sit back and we hope you enjoy! What is life cycle thinking or LCT? It is about going beyond the traditional focus on production side and manufacturing processes to include the environmental, social and economic impacts of a product over its entire life cycle. The producer is responsible for the products from cradle to grave and, for instance, to develop products with improved performance in all phases of the product life cycle. The main goal of LCT is to reduce the product's resource use and emissions from or to the environment as well as to improve the social performance in various stages of a product's life. This way, the companies can achieve cleaner products and processes, competitive advantage in the marketplace, and improve platform to meet the needs of the changing business climate. LCT also expands pollution prevention to include the complete product life cycle and sustainability. Source reduction in a product life cycle perspective is then equivalent to eco-design principle to what we call the 6 RE philosophy Rethink, Reduce, Replace, Recycle, Reuse and Repair Life cycle thinking is a systematic framework that takes a holistic view of the production and consumption of a product or services and assesses the, its impact on the environment through the entire life cycle. In a nutshell, life cycle thinking is an approach to becoming mindful of how everyday life affects the environment. Next, we move to life cycle management. So, what is life cycle management? The management philosophy that integrates a comprehensive life cycle approach for organizations in managing their value chain is called life cycle management. Life cycle management approach puts the tools and methodologies in the life cycle thinking basket into practice. It is a product management system that helps organizations to minimize the environmental and social burdens associated with their product or product portfolio during its entire life cycle. Life cycle management is a systematic progress of organizing, analyzing, and managing of sustainability impacts throughout the entire life cycle of a product, process, or activity. Life cycle management can occur at the product or service level or at the entire company level. This depends on the needs of the organization. Sometimes, the greatest opportunities for reducing environmental or social impacts may exist outside the company's own operations and in its supply chain, in which case, life cycle management would focus on its supply chain. Or, the assembly of a product might be quite complex. Life cycle management is focused on one specific part of the assembly process. There are two terms that are associated with the life cycle management, which are upstream and downstream processes. Upstream refers to activities occurring before the organization, or in another words, supply chain, while downstream refers to activities occurring after the organization, or in another words, product distribution and product use and disposal. Upstream and downstream can also be in reference to a specific point in the life cycle. One of the key benefits of life cycle management is that it can alert management to potential hotspots or areas that may be ecologically or socially problematic. 
the integration of life cycle management into enterprise operations is similar to the ISO 9000 and 14000 standards in that it favors a silical plan, do, check at PDCA approach and thereby provides a basis for organization's continual improvement. Next, we go to life cycle sustainability. Life cycle sustainability consists of environmental life cycle assessment, life cycle costs, and social life cycle assessment. LCSA refer to evaluation on environmental, social, and economic negative impact and benefits in decision-making process towards more sustainable product throughout their life cycle. So there are potential advantage from LCSA LCSA support enterprise to increase interest in designing sustainable product, stimulate innovation on eco-technology and cost efficient, and promote awareness and show enterprise how to become more responsible. However, LCSA has also limitation that sometimes difficulty of integrating the interrelationship between all those dimensions, large amount of data is needed, detailed analysis required, and difficulty in terms of decision-making among the stakeholders. Okay, let's continue with the benefits of LCM to the organization. LCM can improve public reputation, image, and general relation to stakeholders. Increase the brand values by produce sustainable products. Increase the market penetration through mapping the product chain. LCM also can enhance product innovation by development and design of new products. In terms of resource, LCM can reduce the environmental impact by increased operational and resource efficiency. and indirectly can reduce the cost. Beside that, LCM also anticipates future legislative demands by joining the Equilibrium Scheme and Green Public Procurement Programs. There are different types of life cycle management which are cradle to grave, cradle, cradle to gate and cradle to cradle. An example of life cycle would be burger from a fast food restaurant. There are economic, social and environmental impacts associated with the harvesting of the wheat, vegetables and beef required as input to the burger. Other impacts will be associated with the napkins, packaging, condiments and other supplies. As part of the transformation process, inputs such as water, electricity and raw ingredients are required. Waste is generated in the process of producing the burger and pollution emission are generated. For example, carbon dioxide and other forms of air pollution are generated depending on the type of power plant that generated the electricity. The gate will be the customer receiving the burger at the checkout counter. The useful life of the burger will be the customer eating the burger and the grief will be the disposal of the packaging for the burger into a trash or recycle bin. Thanks for watching!